Hey everyone, it's Miss Surrett here, and in this video we're going to talk about how to locate and name coordinates on a coordinate plane. Be sure to have your jams ready to take notes and write a reflection, and make sure that you do title the notes and reflection the same title that you see at the bottom of the screen. Here is your TEKS objective. Make sure to write this down in your notes. After you've done that, fill out your learning goal and what you already know about the topic. So first let's talk about what a coordinate plane actually is. A coordinate plane is just a grid and it's formed by a horizontal number line that intersects perpendicularly with a vertical number line like you see in this picture right here. Now this horizontal line, this is called the x-axis. This vertical line is called the y-axis. And the point where they intersect right here in the middle, that's called the origin. And the origin is called coordinate zero, zero. I don't know about you, but I think it looks like an owl. So I like to think of it as, oh, the owl lives right here at the origin. A coordinate plane is split up into four quadrants. But in sixth grade, you only have to worry about quadrant one. Sometimes the quadrants, um, whenever you see them, they will usually be indicated with Roman numerals. But again, you're only concerned about the first one in sixth grade, so that's what we're going to work with here in the video. Now, whenever we actually locate a point on the plane, we label it using something we call an ordered pair. An ordered pair just means it's named X and then Y. So think of it as X comes before Y in the alphabet, so you always want to put the X first. Also, we know the x-axis is horizontal and the y is vertical. So whenever we're looking at points, you have to remember that you must crawl before you can walk. So let's practice actually locating some points. So here we have 3, 5. Remember, the 3 is an x and the 5 is a y. So we need to find our axes on our grid. So this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So we need to find 3 on the x-axis, which is right here, and then 5 on the y-axis. And then we're just going to find the point where these two intersect, which would be right here. For point 8, 9, we just find 8 on the x-axis, 9 on the y, and then we're going to find the point where they intersect. For 4, 0, we're finding 4 on the x. And since there's a 0 for y, we actually don't have to go up anywhere on the y-axis. The point would just be right here. And for 0, 7, since there's a 0 in the x-place, we don't actually have to move along the x-axis. We just stay at 0, and we just move up to 7. So this would be point zero seven. So let's practice doing the opposite. Let's say we already have the location of the point and we just need to figure out how to name the coordinate. Well, remember, we have to use the ordered pair x, y, and x must come first because x comes before y in the alphabet. So let's talk about point z. So point z is right here. So we need to figure out where it falls on the x-axis. Now remember, x is horizontal, y is the vertical axis, so z is at 2 on the x-axis, and it's at 3 on the y-axis. So the ordered pair would look like 2, 3, just like that. Now for r, r is right here. r is actually at 0 on the x-axis, and it's at 1 on the y-axis. So it would look like 0, 1. Now it's your turn to do this on your own. Figure out where point T is located and you can actually click inside of this little box and select the answer. And I do expect every single person to do this. As soon as you've done that, we're done with this video, so don't forget to complete your reflection at the end and check out my next video about order of operations.